Hi, my friends. Today we'll discuss about two topics. Projects by using the projects tool and the pack and go procedure. I'm sure that you'll appreciate uh, this uh, presentation because uh, they are not well known from my experience. But first, I want you to watch a special introduction in Star Wars style made with the uh, inventor. When you want to experiment, you use uh, the project default. This is not uh, uh, connected with uh, a folder. And when you want to create a real project, you have to start by creating the project file. Let's create a project file, yes? We activate the projects tool and we receive this uh, uh, dialog box. Because we want to create a new project, we activate new. Options are new single user project, the most usual, and the vault project we'll discuss about this sometime in the future so we use the first option next we create a new name model first as you can see by default the name is placed as the name of the folder where the project file will be and this is the project file name with the extension IPJ inventor project if you don't like this uh, default placement you can select wherever you want on your PC for instance on the disk C to create a new folder with a new name TMP okay and that name is now here where the model first project file is placed finish done as you can see model first was created and by contrast with the default project the new project file has an workspace. If you click on workspace, you can have access to the folder where the, your new project file is placed. Good. We want to see uh, that file with the extension IPG. What does it contains. We go to uh, Windows System File Explorer and we have the File Explorer here. You know this. And you find here the TMP directory or folder. 
right click the name of the IPG project and select the copy here option and change uh, the extension in XML XML you receive a message because you change the extension but the extension is uh, for a copy yes and double click on this you see that it was created an XML file what is an XML file oh this is beyond we want to discuss this is a, a data file not a program file this is not a program file like basic or C this is a data file uh, all of these uh, topics contain some information about that new uh, IPG file yes if you want to take a look on internet about XML what is XML and you'll learn more now uh, we are uh, satisfied by having an idea about the content of an uh, IPJ file. Wherever an IPJ file is, you can double click on it and Inventor is starting on that particular project. You see, model first is enabled and you work on that workspace this workspace is for you because you selected the model first uh, project file okay we'll use this knowledge in the next chapter we use uh, the pack and go procedure to archive an assembly that contains its own workspace wishing that uh, archive to be sent to another user or to be used to experience that assembly separately in the process of designing an assembly let's see an example we go to tutorials files my tutorial files we activate workspace we go to the former tutorial where we have an assembly cast vise after it is in the state uh, where we finished that assembly we double click this assembly and we can see you, you remember it was perspective projection and somehow like this the presentation now to use the procedure pack and go we go to file save as and we select pack and go this is the result we have at our disposition a dialog box where we see for the first moment the source file with its uh, path and we are invited to select a destination folder we want to use uh, our new created uh, destination file so we go to the disk C and TMP as the destination yes because we want to uh, copy only that uh, components connected with the cast vice we select copy to single path not uh, keeping the folder 
hierarchy. Yes. Good. We don't skip libraries because we know that uh, some components were taken from the com content center and the rest are uh, maintained. Now we search for components, for files. And we have all the components here. Yes. Good. If we have them, we can start to copy from the source to destination. Yes. Start. Done. Now, if we take a look at the directory, we select TMP and we have here all the files for uh, creating that uh, assembly, including the uh, components taken from the content center. This was not uh, created by us, but we selected from the content center. Now, all the files are in the same directory and you can compact them as an archive and send to another user, for instance. This is the pack and go dialog box with all uh, settings this, uh, presented. Uh, take a look at this is uh, with our example. And uh, another important thing is that you can use File Explorer from Windows to apply pack and go without Inventor activated. Inventor is not activated and you have this uh, temporary director on your screen in File Explorer. You have to activate this IPJ for uh, having it in attention of inventor and then right click and select pack and go. You see you have the same dialog box and you can apply the pack and go procedure without any other applications active. My friends that's all for today. Keep in your attention the procedure pack and go. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.